Hi, uh, Jen Trova, the baseball nerd here, and I'm here for an unboxing video of the Hall of Fame edition of Star Power Baseball. So, I have not opened this yet, and kind of wanted to give you guys the experience as I get to open it. So, I have not seen anything of the contents of this box. So, if we look at it first here, we see the cover. Uh, a collage of different Hall of Fame players, which looks amazing. I think that's really great. And if we look on the sides here, we see Star Power Baseball with some of the cards on the side there. I see Ruth, Koufax, Cobb. Looks familiar because I think I made those cards. Um, on the side here, we see Star Power Baseball Hall of Fame Edition. And then on the other side, I think it's the same thing, right? And then when you look at the opening of the box there, of the Fire Baseball on there, it's the Hall of Fame edition there for Star Power Baseball. So, great cover. It's like the material on the box too is kind of, it's not really wax, but it's smooth, right? Okay, so we're gonna open it up, see what's inside the box. It's my first time seeing it too. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, so if we can see in the cover there, inside front cover has material on it, words, pictures, Star Power Baseball. We have Paige there, Ted Williams, another page. We have the backs of the cards in there as well. Uh, notice the numbers on the cards. So some information there to read for yourself if you're new into Star Power Baseball. All right, so I'm gonna kind of turn it around here a little bit. Uh, Hall of Fame edition, a little introductory letter there. Congratulations on your purchase. It looks like it tells me what kind of objects and uh, different uh, game pieces are in the box. Signed by Dennis Collier himself. See a plastic bag here. I'm assuming these are extras. Oh, these are spinners you put on yourself. Okay, so uh, it has the magnets, spinners, and so on the board here, Notice the board, which is oh, that's really nice. I love that material. Has the first of all, I'll take this out real quick. On the back here, it has these little uh, uh, kind of not not foam, but kind of uh, softer material to put on the board to level it. But it's like doesn't scratch up your table. So when you put that on the board, it doesn't scratch your table, which is great. So you can notice that when you get this, you're going to put the magnets and spinners on for yourself, which is pretty simple. And I, I'm assuming these are the instructions on how to do that. So if I look here, yeah, so like, again, it tells you how to apply the magnets to assemble the board, which is great. There's like instructions on boards. So that's the board. Again, the board resembles kind of like the cover of the game as well. Got the Star Power logo on the front there, and we have this collage of different players on there. But if you notice that the outfield and the ground ball cards are already embedded on the game itself, which I'm a huge fan of. You got Seaver versus Ford, Ruth versus Greenberg on the front. Well, this is where the batter cards go. So it just kind of it shows you where the batter cards will be. Also, if you think about it, you can just put the spinner on, just constantly spin Babe Ruth if you want to. Yeah, and it's uh, installed on the game itself. So that's really neat. The board's amazing as always. Uh, it comes packed with some air bags there, so it doesn't move around a lot. You got this nice little canister here with dice tokens and a flash drive. So written on both sides there. I'm gonna open that up and. Uh, we got a flash drive with, uh, I'm assuming, cards on there that if you want to self print your own cards, they're on there for you to do that, which is pretty cool. And then I'm going to open this. Oh, and I got little little tokens here, right? So those are for manager cards, I, manager cards, I assume, right? So let's put them on the white there. It's like a little token. So dice and tokens. Nice little blocky dice with good pips on them and we have these tokens that are multicolored here we got purple and red and blue a different color of tokens it's pretty cool dice for base runners and pitch counts and that type of stuff and tokens for manager fatigue it comes in a nice little container there that's really nice and then we got a packet of stuff here all right so 
What's possibly in this packet? I'm assuming that yes. it's going to be cards. So, so carefully open that up. So I'm going to open this thing up here. Oh, I like what he did. I like what he did here. Everything okay? Uh, Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame players. Okay. So if I open this up. This says number five. I'm assuming that it is Hall of Fame players. Yeah. So I bet it's alphabetical. So this one starts with Joe Morgan. Look at these cards. Whoever made these, just exquisite taste. Rizzuto, Lee Smith, Ted Simmons. Yeah, this is towards the end of the alphabet, definitely. So let's like this. Let's just confirm this theory here. That's yeah. So number one, I bet that's Hank Aaron first. Oops. Well, Richie Ashburn. Then Hank, there we go. Hank Aaron, Richie Ashburn, Baines, Averill. Okay, so they're not in entire order, but they're close to it. There's more cards, cards, cards. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. Cards. That's what this set's all about, is cards. Okay. Hall of Flame Player 6, I'm assuming. More cards. More cards. Standard batting cards. So these are, uh, if you're using the pitcher to hit, if you're old school, you got standard batting discs in there. Strategy cards, the laminated, or laminated, excuse me. Uh, all the strategy cards on there, even an extra ground ball and outfield card for you. So infield, nicely cut out, nice and shiny. Wow, those are cool. I'm just ripping those open. We got okay. Here we go. So these are again, these are more Hall of Famer packs. Right, these are all the same thing, Hall of Fame cards. Hopefully you've seen those. But this is right here. This is what I'm excited about: Hall of Fame Manager Edition cards. So all these cards in here are manager cards, but they're the Hall of Fame edition of that manager, right? So if this manager is in the Hall of Fame as a manager, that's what these are right here, right? So they're all gonna be nine star, choose three, challenges two guys. Look at these, Al Lopez, there we go, Connie Mack, McKechnie, McCarthy, Willby Robinson, there we go. Dick Williams, John McGraw, Frank Seeley. Wow, look at that picture. That's a great card right there. That's what I want my manager to look like right there. That's what baseball managers need to look like. Have that, they need to have the thick stash, right? So, okay, so we got the cards. Lots and lots of cards, guys. So many cards. And they're all Hall of Famers. All of them. All of them are Hall of Famers. All right, so we got two books, it looks like, in here. First of all, we got the, the Star Power Baseball Hall of Fame Edition Rule Book. Class 36 picture on there, really fancy. Williams at the top. You got uh, Cool Papa, Mickey Mantle, Hank Aaron's plaques on the cover there. Oh, and it comes with some score sheets. Look at that. A little score sheet for you. Right? Double weight, double sided score sheets. That's a nice inclusion. That's cool. Learn to tell quick play, how to do the quick game if you don't want to do the advanced game and a batting key. And uh, I'm assuming a pitching key. Yep. So it tells you what the numbers and everything does. And then it's a traditional type of rule book. That's what we've had in the past already. The current up to date rule book. That's great. And then we also have one of our newer editions of the late things for Star Power is the strategy manual for house rules. And this has been, it's kind of a compilation between the creators of the game and Everybody has been playing the game for a while, so like we kind of make our own little rolls up, and we like we incorporate them into the game, right? Because we listen, we listen to our people, right? So this is a house rule strategy manual, which is cool. So there you got it. Like in this game edition, you got two booklets here: the rule book, the strategy manual. You got the Hall of Fame manager cards. You got every Hall of Fame player card in there, which is just a ton. Like you can, oh my gosh, this is hours and hours and hours of content. And then you got the strategy discs, the batting cards, a flash drive for even more cards if you want to print them off yourself. I don't imagine that's what that's for, right? Yeah. And then this nice, cool version 
of the board. I think this is really what sells Star Power these days is the boards that we're making. Like this, like these boards are legit and they're fun. So, and then self-assembly spinners. Yeah, this is legit. Oh, new dice and tokens. Yeah, this guy, guys, this comes with a lot, a lot of stuff. So, uh, if you want the ultimate uh, Hall of Fame experience for uh, for Star Power Baseball, this is it. So, there you go. Very good. All right. So, uh, if you haven't noticed from behind me, I am an avid board game enthusiast. Uh, I absolutely adore board games, all types of them, and so this is kind of like my little haven of board games. And I am going to say, after going through the box for the Hall of Fame edition, uh, this is finding its place on the shelf. Now, like, and this is important because, like, I kind of get overwhelmed with games and overstuffed with them, so I do have to exit games out of the collection from time to time if I get some games. But this one is definitely finding a spot. I do have my regular star power baseball game edition right there so this one right here is going to take its place alongside it so i now have a hall of fame edition up there so i do have my new hall of fame star power board game baseball game board game in the massive collection that you see before me so it's like if, if you make this shelf that's a big deal so it's up there star power baseball